Good evening. Welcome to the Interfaith Worker Justices Leadership Summit in New Orleans. I'm sorry I can't be there in person with you this evening. And I'm very familiar with your work, your passion, and your successes. And I know that through your fine work and Kim Bobo's excellent book, Wage Theft in America, you have brought attention to the shameful epidemic of wage theft in our nation. Some of the best work combating and preventing wage theft is being done by the IWJ's network, as well as those affiliated with the National Day Labor Organizing Network and the Restaurant Opportunity Center. Thank you for your leadership on this issue. I believe President Barack Obama chose me as his Secretary of Labor not only for my qualifications, but also for my experience and commitment to American workers. I am the daughter of immigrants and union members, and I have never forgotten where I came from. In Congress, I fought to protect and expand workers' rights, and now I bring that experience and drive to the President's Cabinet. There's no doubt in my mind that empowered workers mean safer workplaces. When it comes to workplace protection, workplace health, and workplace safety, let me be clear, there is a new sheriff in town. So long as I am Secretary of Labor, the Department will bring to justice anyone who negligently puts workers' lives at risk or abuses their rights. As our nation makes key investments to put people back to work through the Recovery Act, OSHA will strengthen enforcement by hiring additional inspectors. We will send a loud and clear message to all recipients of recovery funds. If you want these funds, you need to make sure that your workplaces are safe and you treat your workers fairly. And that's a message that will continue long after our economy recovers. Again, I'm sorry I could not be there in person, but I hope we can set up a meeting in the near future. I look forward to working with you over the next few years to protect and defend our nation's workers. Thank you so very much, and si se puede.